Hi, this is Erika from QXP Shop and thank you for joining me here today in my office. So now I have all my pieces. So I have the um, two right here. I have another two together. And then I have the single one. So I have a total of five petals. And then I went ahead and started the pistols. So I'll show you how to do one on this one. So this is a little pistol here. And then I have a, so it's a total of four of them. So I'll show you how to make the pistol here real quick. So with the wire for this one, because what a tembleque is, is temblar, it means to tremble. And so when you have a tembleque, you want, like for example, when the person's dancing, you want it to tremble, you want it to, to wiggle like this kind of thing. So ha have that jiggly <laughs> effect to it. And even when you're making the flowers, See how the pistols just kind of wiggle? So that's the effect we're going. So with this one, so for the main part of the flowers, we use the 26 gauge wire. So for this one, my, my wire is looking kind of weird going on here, it's, it looks like a slinky. But this is a 28 gauge wire, so it's a little bit thinner. So that way it'll, it won't be so stiff. And so what I'm gonna do is I add a three, the 3.5 millimeter bead And then kind of fold this in half so it could be right in the center of the wire just like that so we have it right in the center and then what I do is I take the pliers and I hold it right in the center and then crisscross the wire and do two, about two, three twist. Not that many, because we're gonna stick the next bead in. So for this one, I decided on, like I said, you can do however you want. You can make your little design how, how you wanna do it. So I have a crystal bead next, and then the little uh, clear flower that goes right there at the end. So I'm gonna put that on there. So now I have the 3.5 bead on here grabbing a crystal and joining the wires together and putting the crystal through both wires and pushing it all the way up. So now it looks like that. Focus. There we go. See that. And then we're going to put in the little pl uh, plastic flower, clear flower. So these are all plastic beads, so except for the crystals, of course. Um, I don't, I've never done it with glass beads, so I just feel like traditionally they're made with plastic beads. So I think with glass beads, they'll add extra weight. When you have the whole set on your head, it's a lot of weight on your head, especially when you have to wear it for a few hours and dance around and all that. Uh, your neck gets tired, so. Here is the little flower. So I have the the the, the little bead. Let's see if it'll focus. So I have the little bead, I have the crystal, and then I have the flower. And then so what I have next is a teardrop, which is this. This little teardrop shape. And so I'm gonna add it with the, the rounded part, the bigger rounded part in first. So that way that is touching right at the back of the flower, like that. You can see that. And then we're gonna add 12 of the four millimeter beads right after that. So keep the wi uh, wires together. So you're putting it through both wires and add a total of 12.
see. Ended up with one extra bead, so I'll take that off. And then I'll take the two pistols and kind of do the same thing where I crisscross them like this. And uh, give it a little space because you don't want it to be too tight because you want them to jiggle. So then I start twisting just a little bit seat down below. Um, below the, the wire here, below the bottom of the bead. And then I'm gonna do the same thing where I gotta get rid of wire because you wanna reduce the bulk. So, I spread it out again, keep the two in the center. And if yours ends up where the middle, bead, the middle wire is shorter than the ones on the outside, I would advise to keep the longer in the center and get rid of the shorter wire. So you can kinda of see like this going on here at the bottom. So I have two going one way and then the two in the center. So we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna get rid of this. But first we gotta do twisting to join it on there. So we'll twist a little bit and then we're gonna get rid of it. So we'll only keep the two center wires. And again, I'm gonna take the pliers and twist to make sure there's no pokey wire sticking out. Kind of help flatten it down. And so now we have the pistol. So I have a total of two for this flower. Like that. So the next step before we get to join it onto the, the bobby pin, which you can see here, we have to, it's, for me, I like to wrap um, some of the green thread a little bit beforehand, which makes it easier after it's on here to join everything. So let me do that real quick. So I have the green thread. And I'll take one of the double ones. And I kind of like to start right here in the center. And you can see that. So I'm going to end up making a knot just to tie it off to let it sit there and hold still while I do a lot of the wrapping. And I like to double knot just to make sure it's not going to come off. So wherever you want to knot it at, that's fine. But I like to do it right where the little Y-shaped joint is because that keeps it from sliding down the... Uh, the wire. Excuse my lighting here today. It's a little cloudy, but now the sun's starting to come out a little bit, so eh, I think the lighting keeps changing in here. But So as you can see right here, I have my knot. So now I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping. So you don't want any wire showing, so I'm going to go through and just wrap, 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 wrap the green thread and check double check the back side and I switch over to the other petal and wrap 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 to the top and then come back to okay and now I'm gonna wrap down towards, let me double check the back. Always look at the back because sometimes you see you wrap the front but then some of the wire is still showing in the back side. So I'm gonna go down, sometimes a little tricky because it tries to get caught on the beads. So wrap it down and then I'm gonna come back towards the joint. And then just make sure Everything's wrapped good. I saw a little spot in the back, so I'm going to twirl it around again and cover it. Okay. And 
then I don't see my scissors here, so I'm just gonna use this, my wire cutters for now, to like I grab my scissors, but you wanna cut off a little bit of the, wire, uh, the thread and then go around and double knot it again to secure it in place. So one knot and two knot. And then you're gonna cut off the excess threading. Be careful not to cut too close, but so it doesn't come, start to unravel. So this is what it looks like afterwards. So we're gonna do this to the rest of them and just wrap them up like this. Okay, so now I have everything wrapped in green thread. So I'm ready to put all this stuff together. So as you can see right here, they all have the green thread at the bottom and even the pistols. So now the flower is ready to get put together. So usually what I like to do when I'm putting together these, so now that I have it like this, you can see they're kind of straight. So I like to bend them back, like curve it back, so I can really see what's going on, to flatten it down like that. So you can see. And I'll take one of the pistols and put it just a little bit higher because of course I want it to still be able to tremble so I don't know if you can see this let's see if I can get close and you can see it so I put it just a little bit higher than the the petal and then I'm going to twist so I'm holding it still so remember we're going to keep the thicker wire we don't want to keep this so this one I'm going to push it in and then just keep the wires together and just start twisting around the thicker 26 gauge wire because we're not going to keep the skinny wire. So twisted it about that much and then I'm going to cut off the excess. Be careful not to cut the middle. And then again I'm going to take the, the pliers and twist in the direction the wire is going to help tighten it, get it close. The tighter you have it without breaking it, the better because then when you do more wrapping again later, it's less uh, thread you're gonna have to wrap, 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 wrap around this thing to hide the wire. So there's that. So I have this looking like this. I don't know if you could see the wire wrapping right at the bottom. This will zoom in, there we go. So it's on there now. And now to do it to the next one. So I do it to both the ones that I joined so that way um, when I put it together like this, they'll be both close together. So I take the second one and do the same thing. Grab the, the pistol, put it just a little bit higher again, and then twist around the thicker 26 gauge wire because we want to get rid of the weaker 28 gauge wire. So we're just going to use that to wrap around and then cut off the excess. There you go. So you can see it still has a jiggliness to it when I shake it up. And that's what you want to see. You want it to have that jiggle. Okay, so now we're gonna to put together the flower. So let me grab the, the this one right here, the, saw, the single one, and bend that back as well too. Give it that little curve like that. So then what we're gonna do is, I like to join the two big ones together first before I join the, the, the single one. So I'm gonna join, I'm gonna line these two as close as I can pistols and have this petal like side by side you see I was right next to it and this is where it gets a little tricky where you're going to try and hold this in place while you do the twisting so you're going to take the two wires down here at the bottom if you can see that see the little, there we go so those are the two that we have left and so now we're going to grab it right here at the end and twist them together I know that right at the end is kind of thick, so that makes it a little bit hard, but you're going to do the twisting. 
just a little bit down like that. And then what I'm going to do is pick two right in the center. Because again, we're going to reduce down the amount of wires we have. So we're going to keep two, spread out the other two like that. We're going to keep these two middle ones and twist these around for a little bit and then get rid of them. So we're going to twist these two around the center wire. Like that. And then get rid of it. And again, take this because there's some wire sticking out that's going to poke you if you're not careful. And just do a bit of twisting on there just to make sure it stays. And there we go. So this is what we have so far. And now for the last one, you take this one and put it right in this gap right here. So you can join it like that. And I like to put it just a little bit higher up. So I kind of adjust the pedals so I can see what's going on. So there's going to be five. You see the pistols right up here. See how they still jiggle? So then you're going to come back down near the bottom again. It's going to be a little tricky again because you got to hold this in place while you do the, the wrapping. So I'm going to hold that like that. So I'm holding it right here and you can see the wires right there. So this is the wire right here that I'm going to twist around the one with the, you see all this right here? So I'm going to twist this around that. So I'm going to come around. And start twisting. And then get rid of that wire. And then back to this again. So I'm going to pinch to tighten up some of this wire here. You want as much of the bulkiness reduced as possible. And I keep pointing that out because that's where some of them end up looking kind of wonky if you let it stay looking like that. Where is too, you see how much I've reduced it down by now? Let's take a look and see. So you see how I reduced down that bulkiness? So this is basically what you're going to wrap around the, so this is basically what you're going to wrap around the uh, bobby pin. 